watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. Well today I'm going to be taking a look at some budget knives that have D2 blade steel and are under $30. Now I want to look at just traditional knives or at least modern traditional knives. So that's what we're going to be focusing on. I wanted, I just kind of wanted to find, you know, what could I get in a traditional knife uh, with D2 blade steel without, you know, having to spend a bunch. And that's kind of my focus for this video. So there's two particular series that stood out when I went to look for these. And we have one of those series being the Marble D2 series and also the Old Timer Heritage series. We've got some really nice knives in these series that have the D2 blade steel. So let's first take a look at the uh, the D2 marbles. So one of the knives in, in the series that I really like is, of course, the Sow Belly, one of my favorite patterns. And this is an, uh, just a fantastic uh, black G10 handle. Got the round shield to kind of let you know there, hey, this is D2. Now, this is from the first round of knives that they released. Doesn't have the orange underliners like the new ones will. But uh, the same same knife, just another little added feature there for the new releases of them. But really good blades on them. Fantastic. You know, it's got the half stops. Very, very good action on the blades. Good firm poles. I'm not going to go through all the blades, but... You can see that this is a three and three quarter inch closed link and that main blade, you know, just a standard type sow belly that I've shown on the channel many times, two and three quarter inches. Okay. And this is model number, did I not write it down? Let's see what it is here. MR431. So you're looking for that particular one. There you go. And the price, $14.55. So D2 blade steel on a sow belly. For under 15 bucks. I mean, how can you go wrong with that? So that is one of the top choices, of course. And another one in that series is this lockback that I really like. Now, this is a little bit smaller of a lockback. It's a three and a half inch closed length. But again, you get the black G10 nickel silver bolsters. Nice large bolsters on here. With the threaded design. That long pole on there with the match strike. And good smooth action for the lock back. Right. Very easy to close and open. You got that saber style grind. And this model number is 432, MR432. Okay. And there's a look at that long pull. Get the blade stamp there by our marbles. So really nice little knife here. I'll give you a blade measure. And to the top of the tang, two and three quarter inches. And the cutting edge, two and a quarter. So another fantastic little knife. Now this is the most affordable of all the ones I'm going to be talking about. This is only $11.19, guys, on Chicago Knife Works. So a fantastic little knife with the D2 steel blade. Now the, a third one is the Trapper. Uh, I don't have that one, actually. I had it, but I, I think I gave it away in a giveaway. But that one is really nice as well. And that one's $13.59. Let me show you a picture of that one. Have a look. But I'm pretty sure it's just a, a pretty standard size trapper, maybe in that three to three and three quarter to four inch range. So that one, again, $13.59. And the next one I've got in here, and here is the saddle horn. Now, this might be probably the best value in terms of what you get for your money. This is only $17.91. And you get very large design here. Five-inch handle length, right? Again, the black G10 with the round shield. Let's take a look at the main blade. That's a large clip point blade. And you get a full four and a quarter inch blade length on that. So that is a fantastic value for what you're paying. Model number there is MR433. Half stops. Good action on the blade. And then, of course, our funky spade blade. So just a lot of steel there for your money. Another four and a quarter inch blade. I mean, 
it's hard to go wrong with that kind of a saddle horn if that's one of your things. Uh, it gets a lanyard hole. Obviously, it's going to be more of a back pocket carry. But you know, if you're into larger knives and you you want some D2 blade steel, there you go, boys. Seventeen dollars ninety one cents. All right, up next we've got one out of the Heritage series, and this one I want to say it's the ninety four O yeah ninety four O T H okay. And of course, this is made by Old Timer. You got the gray pack of wood handles, just you know, layered laminate wood. But you get the hexagon shield and <clears throat> the nice nickel silver bolsters. Beautiful D2 steel blades on this one as well. There's your spay blade. That one measures about three and a quarter. And then you get a cutting edge about two and three quarter. No half stops on that. But really good action on the blades. Good snap. There's your main clip point blade. And got the old timer stamp on that. And there's your model number there. 940TH. And then tells you a D2 steel. So that one's a pretty good deal as well. This one, what are we looking at? $27.71. Close link on that one. Ooh, three and three quarter inches, let's call it. So, you know, pretty decent size trapper. And then, obviously, you got your stockman. Same price as the trapper, $27.71. This is the 34 OTH. Again, gray pack of wood handles, hexagon shield, nickel silver bolsters, and three blade trapper with the pin blade. So, no spade blade on this one. You get the nice snap on the clip point. Clip point measures two and a half full tang, and then about two and a quarter for the cutting edge. But you get the sheep's foot in the middle. You can look at the sheep's foot, and that one's two inches with about a two and three quarter inch cutting edge, and then your pin blade. Final blade, nice little spear point style pen blade. One and three quarter, and then about one and three eighths for the cutting edge. So yeah, twenty seven dollars seventy one cents. If you're into the stockman instead of the trapper, those are exactly the same price. And finally, my favorite of the bunch for the old timers. The Bruin 5OTH. Again, gray pack of wood handles, that hexagon shield, lock back design. So, not going to be a UK legal knife like the others. And you get the drop point blade. Just a fantastic, versatile blade. Let's look at the model number there 5OTH. Again, it says D2 blade still. Mirror finish on the blades. Two and three quarter inches, full to the tang. And about two and a half cutting edge. So, really nice lock back design that I carry quite a bit. Really enjoy that one. And that one is just a little cheaper than the other two. It's $23, or excuse me, $20.75. So, about uh, five to six dollars cheaper, actually. So, pretty significant value that one. So, here are your two main series that I've got, but. Now, I've got some other little wild cards in here as well, and this is one with the D2 blade still. This is uh, $24.63 right now in Chicago Knife Works. So this is a Rough Rider Reserve, so you get that uh, <clears throat> that shield. We'll just leave it at that. And then you got the blue denim uh, you know, G10 handles with the threaded bolster on the bare head, bare end. And then this other bolster at the front. Sort of a, uh, I guess, Warren Cliff style handle. I don't know what else you'd call it. That's what I would refer to it as. You get half stops there, satin blade. There's a look at the Rough Rider Reserve logo. There's that coping blade. The nice wedge on it. Probably the best fit and finish of the blade, or, you know, the options that we have here. 
And there's a look at the back. Beautiful bladed edge on these. Well done grind. So yeah, these are really nice little knives. And I mean, it's not a large one. Three inch closed length. Okay, so we're talking about a pretty small knife here. We can measure your blade for you. About two and a quarter full and one and three quarter cutting edge. But half stops really lovely snap. Listen to that. Just rings out. Really good action on it. So just a really well made knife if you're looking for like a fifth pocket carry with D2 blade steel. Fantastic. And last year, quite a long time with that small blade. Okay, and so finally we've got a one from uh, Real Steel. This is a modern, you know, modern slip joint. This is the Luna. Comes in at seventeen dollars thirty six cents. So if you want something a little more modern, you know, you get this modern slip joint design. Got the two thirds half stop or two thirds stop or one third stop, whichever direction you'd like to choose. But this is a three and three quarter inch length closed design. And you get this nice gold colored hardware. And the D2 steel blade. You get the long pull on there. It's sort of a, I guess, flat back style blade. Kind of just curves upward. Got a nice little belly to it. Got the pocket clip. Deep pocket carry. You can see that that is pretty slender, but it does, does the job. And there's a look at the design. Poltergeist. And there's your blade edge. Just a really smart design. You can see by all the tapering and such on the handle that it, it's just a very, very comfortable knife to use. Big fan of this knife. Just uh, so light to carry and uh, just a really comfortable knife to use. And so versatile with that style blade too. Now I don't have a picture of this next one. But this will be my final pick here. This is the Solus Light. Now, this is a four inch in handle length, so a little bit bigger than the Luna. And the Solus Light comes with a three inch coated blade in D2 steel. That one runs $19.03 right now. So, another one well under the $30 mark. But uh, yeah, that's my final pick. So, we got what? A total of 10 knives, eight that I've got here on the table, and then two that I, I don't have, but I showed you images of. So 10 great knives in D2 steel, traditional styling, all under 30 bucks. So you can't say you can't get some really good values on D2 bladed knives. Uh, I've just shown you 10 examples right here. Two from really great series in the old timer Heritage and the D2 Marbles series and a couple of real steel knives that are real affordable as well. So hopefully I chose something there that you would appreciate. Maybe if you're looking for D2 steel or looking to upgrade the steel on your pocket knife to something a little more robust, then uh, these will kind of fit the bill. But that's going to do it for my uh, overview of D2 steel bladed knives. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be made aware of videos when they drop. And we'll see you next time. Take care. Mm -hmm.